Three types of fuels that we use in our space program, most common varieties, are solid fuel, of course, like our solid in our solid rocket boosters, liquid fuel, like the liquid hydrogen in the external tank of the space shuttle and in the upper two stages of a Saturn V rocket, or the RP-1 uh, derivative of kerosene that we have in the bottom stage of a Saturn V rocket. But the third one doesn't follow the states of matter. The third category is a special type of chemical reaction called a hypergolic reaction. Sounds like it means very French, but that's not it at all. A hypergolic reaction doesn't follow the three points of the fire pyramid that you need. Instead of having an ignition source, a source of oxygen, and fuel, the source of oxygen is inside one of the chemical components. You don't need an ignition source. You do not need uh, atmosphere. All you need are two chemicals. You bring them together and something's going to happen. It might be something kind of benign, like uh, vinegar and baking soda, Alka-Seltzer and water, Mentos and Diet Coke. Or it can be something kind of extraordinary. See, those all just produce carbon dioxide. But if you put together things like, say, monomethyl hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide, the result's pretty extraordinary, a massive explosion. Now, these chemicals that I mentioned, these are the orbital fuels of the space shuttle, monomethyl hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide. They are toxic, caustic, carcinogenic, and mutagenic, meaning they are poison, they are acid, they can cause cancer, and they will mutate your DNA, but will not give you any cool superpowers in the process, sadly. The reason why we use these chemicals, even though they're so dangerous, is a tablespoon of each one is all that's required to move the shuttle inside its orbit. That's all, just a tablespoon of each one. Even in the absence of air, put them together and BAM! you can move the shuttle. Now, monomethyl hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide are difficult to say, difficult to spell, and difficult to remember. But if you're familiar with the movie Mary Poppins and the song Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, you can keep in mind that monomethyl hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide don't need a flame or catalyst, they're oxidizers inside, they're stable by themselves, but if you mix them, you'll be fried. Monomethyl hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide. Hum de little little um de delay. Hum de little little um de delay. Hum de little little um de delay. Hum de little little um. Monomethyl hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide are toxic and corrosive and carcinogenic. Besides, your DNA might mutate, but it won't mean you can fly. Monomethyl hydrazine and nitrogen tetroxide. Hey. Oh, and remember. A spoonful of hydrazine makes the RCS go boom in the most efficient way.